Peter. <laughs> now to the first of our new series looking at how Africans in the diaspora are using music to build their bond with the continent. You may well have heard of the late Fela Kuti, of course you have, and the musical sound he created called Afrobeat. Now today we're talking about its musical grandchild, Afrobeats. Young African artists are mixing the best sounds from the continent with anything from a bit of hip-hop to reggae and even house music. Now, for many Africans in the UK, it's led to a newfound pride in their heritage as focus on Africa's Lebo de Seco reports. This could be a night out in Accra or Lagos, but it's a Sunday night right here in the heart of London. It's a celebration of the hot sound of the moment, Afrobeats. It's exploded onto the UK music scene seemingly overnight, and it draws on musical influences from all over the African continent. Hip life and high life was from Ghana, and then you had Niger beats from Nigeria. And obviously, the late Fela Kuti had Afrobeat, which was there from the beginning anyway. As <clears throat> the music kind of evolved and artists started using the Afrobeat fella sound and mixing it with the Western sound of hip hop and R&B. All of a sudden it became trendy. <laughs> it used to be mainly artists from the US and Caribbean that pulled the big crowds. Now artists from Ghana, Nigeria and other parts of Africa have their own huge UK following. Well, Afrobeats has influenced more than just music here in London. It's influenced fashion, it's influenced slang. I mean, it's not unusual to hear an English or West Indian person calling their friend Chalice. And it's also influenced dance. We're still doing the Azonto. Fuse ODG is a rising star on the scene. A Ghanaian who grew up in London, he recently picked up a Ghana Music Award for his latest song, Antenna. For him and many other young Africans who grew up here in the UK, the Afrobeats movement has been a way to assert pride in their heritage in a way that it was difficult to do growing up. I had a lot of fights back in the day actually because you know people were calling you African but not in a nice way. Things have actually changed where you know people actually want to know about Africa and people actually are, are proud to be from Africa and, and, and some people wish they're from Africa right now. It's crazy how things have changed and back in the day even Africans were pretending not to be Africans. It was his African British fans that came up with the now famous antenna dance and their video showcasing their moves went viral. So I wondered, could they teach me some moves? I think I need to keep practicing. Lebo Di Seco, BBC News. So from Lebo, don't look at me, I'm not doing anything.